When reading an article on Google Chrome, tapping this button right here gives me a way clearer reading experience, completely free of ads, pop-ups, and any other distractions. This mode also allows you to change the appearance of the article too. Like you can change the font, the size of the font, and the background color. And how I enabled this feature is by toggling this Chrome flag called Reader Mode Triggering. It's found within Google Chrome Beta, or the dev version. And that's just one out of the many Chrome flags that I've enabled to improve my browsing experience. If you're not sure what Chrome flags are, they're basically hidden experimental features found within Google Chrome. And there are a ton of them. You can find them by going to this URL on the screen. If you're interested in checking these out, proceed with caution, as not only can these features come and go, but some can be unstable and cause issues. However, I've tested all the ones in this video, and they work great on Android. Just keep in mind that some flags only work on the beta or dev version of Chrome, and not the stable version. If that's the case, I'll be sure to let you know. Luckily, this next flag called Auto Dark Mode for web contents works on every Chrome version. As the name suggests, it enables dark mode for all web pages automatically. This is super useful if you find the lighter backgrounds to be too bright and uncomfortable to browse, especially at night. This makes it so that no matter what, the web page will be displayed in dark mode. That one deserves a like. If you find an article to read but don't have the time to read through the whole thing, or you like to read the article while doing something else, you can have Chrome audibly read the article to you with the read out loud flag. Once enabled, hit the three dot menu in the upper right and tap on listen to this page. The narration will begin and you'll get playback duration as well as playback controls and you can also change the reading speed and even the reader voice, which is pretty neat. As the name suggests, incognito screenshot allows you to take a screenshot while you're in incognito mode or private mode. Normally, screenshots while in incognito mode aren't allowed for security purposes but this allows you to get around that, so you can take screenshots as you please. This next one isn't really a flag, but I thought it was still pretty useful. If you hit the three dot menu, go to the settings, scroll down to the advanced section, and go to toolbar shortcut, you can customize that little button that shows up to the right of the address bar. By default, it's set to change automatically based on the page you're looking at, but you can manually set it to any of these options or disable it altogether if you'd like. Or you can also access this page by long pressing on the shortcut and tapping edit shortcut. It's super helpful for reaching a certain task a lot quicker, whether it be translating a page, accessing voice search, starting a new tab, etc. When using Chrome beta or dev, enabling the flag called allow custom tabs to be minimized gives you the ability to minimize custom tabs into a picture in picture window. So if you're opening a link from let's say Gmail, for example, in the upper left corner, you'll see a little arrow pointing down. Tap on that and the web page will shrink into a small movable window. Then you can open it back up whenever you need to access it. And when you're done with it, you can easily get rid of it just like any other picture in picture mode. Now, everyone knows how useful the internet can be, but a recent 2024 study done by the National Library of Medicine sheds light on some interesting findings. It turns out that younger adults spend a lot more time online than older adults, which has resulted in poor mental health. Many of us can probably relate to this because let's face it, the internet isn't always a source of positivity. If you're finding yourself less happy than usual, it might be time to consider therapy as a first step in improving your mental well-being. BetterHelp, the sponsor of this video, is a fantastic option. Not only can you access therapy from the comfort of your home, but it's also more affordable than traditional in-person sessions. I remember struggling with social interactions and communication myself, and I'm pretty sure my internet habits were contributing to these insecurities. But after starting therapy, I gained some valuable tools to help me break out of my shell and boost my confidence. If you're dealing with similar issues, BetterHelp can make a real difference for you too. Just answer a few questions on their website or app, and they'll match you with a therapist who suits your needs. You can communicate via messaging, phone calls, or video chats, whenever it works for you. Plus, if you don't click with your therapist, you can switch anytime. So if you're struggling, why not give online therapy with BetterHelp a shot? Use my link, betterhelp.com slash howtoman to snag 10% off your first month. 
Trust me, investing in your mental health is one of the best decisions you can make. Back to Google Chrome, if you'd like to improve your browsing experience by making it smoother and faster, turn on this flag called Smooth Scrolling. Now, it won't make a huge difference, but I've noticed that scrolling through web pages has been a bit more fluid than before. What you can also enable to make your browsing experience a bit faster is this flag called Experimental QUIC Protocol. This flag enables an experimental network protocol developed by Google that's designed to improve the speed and reliability of web connections. For some of you, it could already be enabled by default, but it wouldn't hurt to turn it on just in case it's not on your device. And just keep in mind that this only works with certain websites that are specifically optimized for this protocol, so it won't improve the speed for every page out there. However, what possibly will work for most pages and improve the speed of your browser is another flag called Back Forward Cache. This flag loads whole websites into the cache so that when you're bouncing backward and forward between pages, they'll load instantly and you won't have to wait for them. This also means that if you happen to lose internet connection, you'll still be able to access those pages, which is very handy. And with the CPU being the main component that normally takes care of things like video play and other graphically intense things in the browser, this hardware accelerated video flag makes it so that other hardware components, including the GPU and RAM, will take some of that load. The GPU then takes the task of encoding and decoding video. This can help make things smoother while loading graphics of browser games and video play and whatnot, but be careful because this can result in heating, crashes, and other issues. Again, this flag could also be enabled by default for some of you, but just in case it's not, uh, you have that option to turn it on. You can also improve Chrome security. For example, for password filling, you can add an extra layer of security when you try to log into one of your accounts using a password via Chrome's password manager. When doing this, the browser will ask for your biometric authentication, whatever it may be, Again, adding an additional wall of security, making your biometrics necessary to log into an account of yours. To get this, you just need to enable the flag called biometric reauth for password filling. And since we're talking about password filling, I'm sure we've all been there where we try to log into a website, but the autofill menu doesn't pop up. It's super annoying. But if you enable this flag called show autofill predictions, Chrome will now be forced to pop up the dialogue on every text field may be useful or it may be annoying. Either way, you have that option. Anyways, those are some of my favorite Chrome flags that I've enabled to improve my browsing experience. To take things even further, I recommend you instead switch to this other browser called Chromite. It's a Chromium fork, so you get all of the same looks and features that Google Chrome has, but it includes extra things that are very useful. Things like a very powerful ad blocker to automatically block every ad and annoying pop-up on every website. You can move the toolbar to the bottom of the screen as well. You have the option to open a custom website each time you launch the app and a lot more. The best part is that it removes all of Google's unnecessary trackers so that you can stay private while you browse. Anyway, if you want to learn some new powerful things your Android phone can do, tap this video right here. If you found this video very helpful, just drop a thumbs up to show your support. Thanks for watching till the end and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!